Hello and welcome to Sci-Fi Gaming. Um, today we're just finishing off this uh, Echo activation quest. And Tannis here is telling us how... Basically she's making excuses for why not to go after her and go after Steel instead. But to be quite honest, I quite agree. Steel has been... Throughout this has uh, appeared several times throughout this game and has been a complete bitch to us. Now why do I'm showing you this guy? Well I'm not showing you this guy up here because... Uh, we're actually waiting for the uh, guardian angel to turn up again, and um, gonna listen to see what she says. Um, probably something about the vault. I shouldn't wonder. There we go. Let's go. Okay, time travel here. <laughs> We've got a bit of time travel, as always. Now this is the this is um, a place called the Descent, and you will see why this can be uh, a pain in the ass and rather hard to get through. Um, ignore those birds that are going out there. What you want to look out for are these, the uh, Sarah Guardians. Now, yeah, you might have seen my best weapon, my. Uh, Flame SMG does absolutely nothing to their shields. They are completely, no, virtually immune to elemental damage. Uh, you want to use normal weapons like this shotgun, which actually does quite good against him. Um, or you go for the uh, once you beat their shield down, they're very very weak. So what you want to do is get the, sh you know, use the normal weapons, no elemental weapons um, and try and use like these uh, triple burst uh, machine guns uh, they're also called uh, stompers in this game um, like this is the desert stomper uh, I can't remember what letters and number come in front of that but you can see then it takes them down relatively quickly there is one more flying about somewhere and he does get it right this shotgun that I pick up now I don't use in this in this video I don't think but I do use it, I did start using it and I can tell you that this it is a very very good weapon. Here's me trying to be cool and I fail miserably to be quite honest. Uh, <laughs> didn't really work that well. And now we're going to take him out uh, with our nice seat. Look, it only takes one burst to take him out. Now this one, that one actually glitches up uh, and it goes inside the rock all the way up there so we don't actually kill him. Could be a her, actually, I suppose. But, uh, don't know. It. <laughs> we'll, call it look, we'll call them its from now on. Um, so, yeah, here we, you'll see we're trying to go after him. But, uh, I've cut the video again, so hop forwards in time right now. Yep. This is it. Actually, we kind of glitched it because, uh, I started it. We've got one of the um, clan members from ONU and two other people, I think one person joins in a bit late but, um, yeah as you can see <laughs> this isn't what it's supposed to look like, it shouldn't have the uh, heads up display around the around the edges and you might be able to hear and see in the background, I think that might be Cody <laughs> jumping up and down in the background there, I didn't realise that the first time was, uh, when I recorded this so, uh, you know, don't know who it was but it's something Cody would do I should think Here's Steel, and look at that, she gets aced by the big scary octopus thingy, also known as the Destroyer. <laughs> and uh, that guy gets stuck in the ground next to the temple, uh, next to the altar, or the uh, lock, whatever you want to call it. Now, this isn't the whole video, this fight, I am not kidding, this fight took 10 minutes with all four of us. Yes, there's me that's level 52 now. Uh, there's a... Uh, I'm just going to remove this uh, uh, sound recorder. Uh, there's a uh, Rock Mike, which is uh, one of the guys that has added me off uh, YouTube. Um, he's... Uh, he's... Uh, he's, uh, he's alright, you know, he's a good player. Um, he's level 50, and Cody there is level 47. In the next video, uh, possibly towards the no, yeah. In the next video, you'll see how much I have to help Cody out. Um, 
In fact, the next video, I think, you know, I might be able to put the whole, the rest of the fight in. Maybe. I don't know. Um, the whole recording itself was about uh, 12 minutes when I recorded this fight. Um, so, you know. And here, here we thought we'd be clever, try and run over here, but no, we get crushed by that freaking tentacle. I didn't even know you could do that, so, bit of advice. Watch out for the tentacles. <laughs> Someone, I think Cody's trying to uh, heal me, but he keeps uh, getting hit away, but he gets me just in time. Uh, now, what you want to do against this boss is keep yourself healed up, and to keep on shooting. That's all the advice I can give you, really, to be honest. This is one of the uh, very longest uh, boss fights, just because of the shit amount, shit loads of health this thing has. Um, and when these uh, purple tentacles come up, um, I think this is actually where I die. Because um, someone's selfish and uh, not actually healing people. So yeah, here I just die. Uh, I'm the only one to actually die, I think, in this whole battle. Um, now, normally, if you're doing this on single play, player, um, oh no, maybe not. No, do I die? Oh no, yeah, I die. Uh, on single player, you'll know that if you die during a boss fight, the boss regains all its health. Uh, in fact, anything that you're facing, if you die halfway through a fight, whatever you're fighting regains all its health. The benefit about multiplayer is that that doesn't happen. Um, but uh, yeah, you'll have to watch the rest of this fight in the next video, because uh, this is the end of this one. Part 2 will be coming up tomorrow, so I shall see you all later.